Okay, so I did another 200 council runs in 1.07, and I picked the most interesting items to show. Uh, this one is a crafted glove. Uh, Bloodcraft has the bugged life leech, 17% life stolen per hit. I got plus three to bow and crossbow skills because magic only affixes are available on crafted items in 1.07. And then it only scored 6% crushing blow. And I was very sad to get life leech and bow and crossbow, but no attack speed. Uh, but still, it's very nice for potentially at least for a bow zone. Uh, especially because, uh, I don't think I've said this before, in 1.07, the crushing blow has no penalties in hell, so you can sliver monsters by hitting them with crushing blow over and over, even if you can't actually deal damage. Additionally, it deals damage to physical immunes. Uh, this is a crafted blood amulet. I used the Lum rune, that was the highest rune that dropped, and I forgot to take a screenshot of the Lum rune. And I got 2 to Barbarian skills and 51 life for minimum damage. The fast run walk here is 1%, and it is always 1%. Um, so I will never use this amulet, but because Lum runes are so rare, I just decided to show it. I got a 34 to attack rating and 5% extra gold from Monsters Small Charm. Uh, pretty good. I would say not amazing, but still pretty good. Uh, this ring could potentially be used, but again, uh, not amazing. It's like, okay, if I was going to use Nagel Ring, then maybe I would use this instead because of 8% life steal. 119 attack rating, poison res 27 and then 14 magic find. Uh, Talrasha's Swirling Crystal, Lidless Eye. Uh, I think these can get two, two, and two. Uh, Serrated Small Charm of Dexterity, plus six to maximum damage, and then Perfect Roll on Dexterity. Uh, six is the perfect roll for the prefix. Uh, IK Helmet. Uh, I do, I believe the Magic Find uh, does roll and it can get up to like 44 or something, uh, so it was a, a low roll. Uh, Shadow Sk Discipline Skiller. And then that's, that was the first, that was runs, what, 500 to 600. Uh, and then it runs. 600 to 700 I spent a little bit of time shopping and I got this three to combat skills 5% amplify damage sword uh, the idea is to ask Larzuk for four sockets and see if he gives them to me uh, but three combat skills is not my favorite prefix I would rather have either plus two to barbarian skills or Demon Enhanced Damage, and then four sockets with four pull runes, because I have learned that the Demon Enhanced Damage on the offhand weapon applies to the damage dealt by the main weapon. Additionally, it should apply to the maxers, the, the max damage charms in my inventory. So, getting up to potentially over 500% demon enhanced damage on my offhand uh, with the amplified damage on attack would be very powerful for my council barbarian. I found this uh, grand charm, lightning resist 30% and 41 to life. Uh, my guy is level 80 now, so he still can't use this. I found manold heal it's garbage, but I'm just showing it so you can see that it's garbage. Uh, the 1.07 stats are no good. I got this Serpent's Grand Charm of Sustenance, 59 to mana and 31 to life. I could see using this on a Boazon or a Javazon in 1.07. Uh, 
Uh, this is not good, but it was good enough that I decided to not re-roll over it. So you can use a crafted weapon and you can just craft it again. Um, any weapon can be crafted no matter what, there are no restrictions. Um, and so here the demon enhanced damage uh, combined with the 100% enhanced damage uh, could be potentially useful if doing like uh, act 5 clears or maybe act 4 clears although I think some of those monsters are undead rather than demons um, it's just the 20 to 157 is not a whole lot really uh, additionally, the Amazon, any ranged attack damage does not benefit from the max damage on the charms in your inventory. So the demon enhanced damage only applies to uh, the weapon damage. So really this one isn't good, but it's like, well, I don't have anything. It's the best one I have, so I'm not going to uh, override it. I uh, found Gwilam's face. Uh, this one is useful in 1.07, particularly because the 35% chance of crushing blow. Uh, again, the crushing blow in hell works at full effect, even against physical immunes. At all player settings, although I play on players 1 because I don't uh, feel like bringing mules into a game and playing with lag. Uh, I found this forked small charm of quality, the uh, 8 to maximum damage small charm with a required level of 30. So very nice. Uh, I'm not really sure what a perfect roll for level 30 would be, uh, but a perfect roll for damage altogether would be 12. And that's it. So this one's pretty short. There wasn't much finds in the runs 500 to 700.